what's up you guys and welcome back to the channel today we are going to be doing something a little bit different today's video i'm going to show you guys how i was able to grow on youtube so get your pen and paper and get ready to take some notes all right i have seven tips and stay to the end of this video because i might do a bonus tip that will help you tremendously all right stay tuned All right, you guys, so for tip number one, you need to focus on making content that you are passionate about and it's a topic that people are looking for. Take my channel for example. My channel is a reaction channel. It's not a review channel. What a reaction channel is, is for, let's say you just saw a video of NBA Finals highlights, right? And you, as the viewer, have a favorite YouTuber and you see on his channel that he does reactions and he actually saw the video that you saw earlier. As the viewer that likes reaction videos, you're gonna wanna check his video out to see if he reacted to some of the highlights the same way as you did. So therefore, to make it even more clear that a reaction channel is that bond between the YouTuber and the viewer to basically give that connection as if I'm in the same room as the one that's reacting. It's pretty much like how you guys have game night or you bring a whole bunch of people to your house for NBA Finals or the Super Bowl and that, that connection that you guys have when all type of highlights and stuff go off and you guys are going crazy, that's the connection that reaction channels are trying to create. This channel was made to bring you guys insight on drummers you may not have ever heard of due to how the algorithm works. Because most of the drummers that I've seen when they try to grow on YouTube, they're treating it like it's Instagram, where they will just post it and just hope everything works well. But that's not how the YouTube algorithm works. My channel is not a review channel. That's why you don't see me critique the drummers that I'm reacting to because I'm not a review drum channel. So if I was a review drum channel, of course I would literally be watching it and oh, I didn't like what he did there. He could have did this. He could have did better with this or she could have played in the pocket more or stuff like that. That will make me a review channel. But as I said earlier, being a reaction channel, I'm trying to build that connection with you guys as if we're watching this together. That's how it is. For example, when I watch reaction channels, I, I, I feel like I'm watching it with them. And that's what I like about reaction channels. I see something crazy. Like it's a lot of reaction channels that are reacting to stand-up comedy, right? And I saw the original stand-up special. And I'd be like, oh, well, he checked this out. I wonder if he finds the jokes that I found funny, funny, right? Which if he did in the video, we have that connection. And that's all reaction channels are trying to do is build that connection between a viewer. So if you're a reaction channel and a making, work on connecting that relationship with the viewer. Also, my channel allows you to have the opportunity to check out drummers that you may have never heard of due to the algorithm because their videos are just not seen. For example, my bro David Frank. David actually has this video that was from Drumio and Nam on his channel, but because of how the algorithm was working for his video, it didn't get the views that it should have. So I featured it on my channel and you guys loved it. And it, it, some of you guys were seeing him for the first time. That's one of the big purposes of my channel, literally bringing you on to drummers you may not have heard of before. Some of them you may have heard of, but the majority of them you probably haven't. And I just love putting you guys on drummers you may have never seen before. Once you found your idea for your channel and it's something that you're passionate about, to find out how many people are actually searching for that content. Let's say you're really good at drawing, right? And you actually are better at breaking down how to draw to be able to teach people who can't and get them to the level that you are. Type in the search bar, how to draw. I put in how to at the moment. How to draw is the first one. So that tells you that people are searching how to draw. A lot of people are searching 
and want to learn how to draw. So once you've established that, that's the best way to find out if people are looking for the content that you want to create. All right, now let's get into tip two on how to grow on YouTube. Tip number two is understanding how to make the right titles, not to be confused with clickbait titles. That term is used a lot. <laughs> it's used a lot. And some of you guys don't know the difference between a great clickable title and clickbait. Here's a, these are examples of clickable titles. Even though some of you call it clickbait, it's clickable titles because here you go, Quibis. This was considered clickbait. The title is bro is spinning the symbol during the drum cover, right? That's called a clickbait because you never saw him spin the symbol. And when I hover over it, right? That's when he spent the symbol. So it's in the video. I make my titles I'm using what comes to mind in that video and I try to create a title based off of it, if that makes any sense. Which brings me to tip number three, make better thumbnails. Thumbnails are very important now. I don't remember when they added this and made this very, very important in the algorithm, but it's this thing called click through rate. And that's basically the amount of time someone clicks on the thumbnail when it's shown to them okay best way to understand this is you wanted to keep your click-through rate on your videos at 10 percent or better you do that you're good aren't you guys so for example this is a cover i did a week ago that's doing pretty well right now it's around 13k 13,000 views and it's the video where i titled it i heard this on the radio and decided to put drums on it which once again, that's a thought that I made a title that actually happened. Like it's a quick story about it. I was driving and I heard this song on the radio, literally. I was like, you know what? I, I could put drums on that and let's see how the video turns out. That's what I did. So the click through rate on this is 11%. This video is doing great. It's already over 13 K in a week. And this is the indication that's letting me know that the thumbnail is doing its job. It's getting clicked because it's in that 10% or better range. After 48 hours and you see your click through rate is kind of low, consider changing your thumbnail and then see what happens. See if it goes up. And if you guys don't know how to make thumbnails, I will leave some videos of some YouTubers that teach how to make thumbnails on Photoshop, how to make thumbnails on free software that you don't have to pay for, how to make thumbnails on your phone. I'll leave all of their information down in the description. Make sure to check that out and improve your thumbnails. All right, let's move on to the next tip. All right, you guys, so for the next tip, understanding how important watch time is, but also watch time is more than just how long you keep the viewer on your video. It's also how long you keep the viewer on YouTube's platform as a whole. All right. So for example, me and pocket queen did a reaction video collaboration, right? Pocket queen reacted to my video, right? Her subscribers saw her reaction to my video. I did a reaction video to her reacting to me and you guys saw this video, which brought you to the original video of Pocket Queen reacting to my video and her subscribers checked out my reaction to her reaction of my video. I hope that makes sense. That's a lot, that's a lot to say. That's a lot to say. But we were going back and forth, keeping you guys on the platform, even though you guys left her video to see mine and someone left my video to see hers. We're keeping you on the plat. Together, we will build in more watch time because the algorithm on YouTube rewarded both of us with that watch time. I'll give you another quick example. If you guys are still watching this video and you was to click off to watch another video on YouTube, that's not even mine. And then you watch another one of somebody else's and another one, and another one, another one, because you're still on YouTube's platform, I'm getting watch time. All right, you guys, so check this out. 
this is a perfect example this video actually did very well on my channel it's currently around 13,000 views in the first week and this is a perfect example on it's more than keeping the viewer on your video as long as possible the bigger picture that YouTube wants is you to keep the viewer on YouTube as long as possible. Now, for example, this video, like I said, did great. 13,000 views. My <laughs> view duration is usually around 47 to 50%. That's around the range that, that can take your videos out there, right? Mine's at 39, all right? But what this is telling me is that after you guys left the video, I guess you just wanted to check out something else on YouTube. Let's say the viewer clicked on my video, right? And they watched until, let's say, let's go to the 39%. So they watched until this part. Right? By the way, check that video out. It, I mean, it, <laughs> that video, that was one of my favorite covers. But anyway, they left right there. Excited, you know, all right. I want to see something else, right? So let's say they didn't go and checked out another one of my videos, right? They just went to somebody else like Cash Nasty or they want to see a cooking channel or anything like that. Even though they left my video to go see someone else's video, this is what people don't understand. Because they're still on YouTube, I get credit for watch time because they didn't leave the platform. You're getting credit for however long they're on the platform all right so yeah i hope you guys understood that let's dive into the next tip all right you guys so now we're moving on to tip number five this one is also this is a tip and also some encouragement for you guys that are that believe you're struggling on youtube because you're not seeing the views that you want and you're not seeing the subscriber growth that you want listen closely to this tip stay consistent even when you feel like your channel isn't growing all right i'm gonna give you a background story on how i used to feel the same way a subscriber reached out to me and said you should check out this drummer by name of ronnie caspi this is a video of me reacting to ronnie caspi she was playing to kevin powell's track that he made for spanky she killed this killed this great uh as you can see this video came out April 16th, 2020. It has now 6,000 views. So you can imagine the growth on it when it came out. I saw nothing but arrows pointing down in the analytics. I got notifications saying this video isn't attracting the subscribers or non-subscribers. I got tips on maybe it's your uh, click-through rate Maybe it's your watch time and it's just all the arrows is pointing down. And at, at the moment I was, I was just feeling bad about it. it. It got, I got aggravated. I started blaming the algorithm. I started just complaining, but I didn't stop uploading. So I kept uploading, kept uploading. And then she did a collaboration with Jesus, dope keyboard player, man. And I was like, you know what? This is another shot for me to react to this video and show you guys what I seen when I first reacted to her, right? That video, let me pull it up. That video was uploaded November 23rd, 2020. Look at the views. It got over 100,000 views. She went nuts and shared it on her story. She hit me up on um, Instagram like that. That video just went, <laughs> it went crazy. She got all type of support in the comments. And had I had stopped uploading or took breaks and just, you know, just gave up, this might have never happened. And that brings me back to why I love doing this channel because this channel is more about it's more than just me It's showing my passion for drummers and musicians. And I just love like, I, I love this, right? 
I love showing you guys drummers and musicians that you might not have heard of because their videos are just not being seen because of the algorithm. I'll give you one more example. Shout out to Josh and Murph, man. If you guys don't know who they are, they're a podcast that I actually, I forgot how we actually met on social media. Yeah, but so shout out to Josh Reacts, man. Um, just real quick, uh, Josh is a super dope YouTuber, um, super dope drummer, a musician. Uh, and recently, I think this week or something like that, or like this past week, uh, his, his account got hacked, man. We got to be careful. We got to be very careful. His account got hacked, so all that. Anyway, the wow. point is, thank God right now everything's all good. Uh, he got his channel back. So uh, we'll, we'll put the description, you know, we'll put his link in the description down below so you can check that out. Um, but yeah, man, shout out to Josh, man. Uh, he's super dope. I'm glad you got your channel back, bro. But they reacted to two of my drum covers. It was hilarious, hilarious, right? But we had got a time to FaceTime and chat a little bit. They gave me tips on lighting and how to make my studio look better on camera. And they also helped me out when it comes to understanding PCs and uh, the software that I'm using to record these videos. And we got to talking about YouTube tips and I shared with them a tip that I had got from a big YouTuber. I forget the video or uh, how that came about, but I suggested to them, you know what? Why don't you try uploading two to three videos a day? Because when the Larno Lewis video went viral that week, I was uploading two videos every day. And within that first week, four videos went viral. Larno Lewis, and by viral, I'm talking about over 200,000 views. Larno Lewis, um, keyboard drummer, both videos. Uh, Chris Coleman one went viral. And I forget the other one, right? So they did it. They uploaded almost three to five videos a day. Let's go to their popular uploads. This one they shared on their story. This one got 100,000 views in the week of uploading. It was a reaction they did to a UFC fight. I hit them up like, yo, y'all keep doing it. It's showing, it's, it's going crazy. They got another one, 91K, four months ago, 63. Look at their subscribers. Let this be a, an example for you guys who are stuck on subscribers. Your subscriber number doesn't matter. It's the views, watch time, and click-through rate that they're generating that's giving them their growth, right? They're gonna blow up. Like, they keep this up. They're literally gonna blow up. It's crazy. Shout out to you guys. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Keep doing it. It's, it's paying off. It's paying off. All right, so back to the tips. All right, you guys, before we get to the last tip and the bonus tip, so all of you that are still watching, shout out to you guys. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. All right, so I could not end this YouTube tip without giving you guys the number one tip, okay? So the most important tip on how to grow on YouTube is understanding that you're going to get hate. It's going to be a lot of hate comments. It's going to be a lot of haters that are going to find you. All right. So there's a way that I was able to go about this. But before I get into that, it's a great acronym deep breaking down the word haters. And I want you guys that Got your pen and paper, please write this down, all right? So, haters basically stands for having anger towards everyone reaching success. And that, that stands out so much and explains so much about my channel and what's been going on with my channel. And we're gonna dive into it a little bit. So, what I did, like the best way that I deal with hate comments is every time I get one, it's a notification, it's instant notification that one of my videos just is just doing amazing right now. Every, every single time. YouTube does not send me a notification once if a video is going viral. They leave it to the haters. Like, for example, 
Quazy. I just did recently reacted to Quazy playing Astral Projection by Anthony Burns, right? I recently today woke up to hey comment. I went to that video. I'm like, oh, oh, that's why they're hating on it. Quazy, congratulations. That video is over 110,000 views. So, so that's why they're hating. So every time you get hate on any, any content that you have on YouTube, know that it's because something amazing just happened. You just went viral or your video is just doing amazing. All right. Something amazing happens that triggers haters <laughs> and you can use them as notifications pretty much. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the best way to go about it. All right. It's the best way you're going to get comments. Like he's a clickbaiter, right? They're, they're clickbaiting you to get views. Those people most for, for the majority, those haters don't understand what we just broke down about clickbait and what's the difference between clickbait and just a clickable title and a clickable thumbnail, right? So you're going to get one that's my favorite, especially if you're a reaction channel. Oh, he's using their names for view. And I love, I love to break down stuff like this. When people say that I'm using somebody else's name to get views. For example, me and my brother did a cover. It's a one minute cover. This is just me and my brother. So what's funny is I don't have anybody's names to get views off of in this video. This video is at 62,000 views. It got 30 K I think in the first week, you know, that's, you know, all right. So you guys like dirty loops. I love dirty loops. I love doing reactions to dirty loops. Be on the lookout. There's going to be more coming soon. So make sure that, that your notifications is on. But dirty loops, if you guys don't know, just an amazing band, amazing band. And uh, yeah, very, they're very popular, very popular. So I have to be using their names to get nine, uh, over a hundred thousand views on pretty much every reaction video that's been done on them, right? Check, the, take a look at this email. So I'm, at, I actually worked with Quincy Jones productions team. They actually reached out to me to help promote dirty loops. So I'm clearly not using their names to get views. Like if they're reaching out to me, it's because of you guys. And I really love the support you guys have been showing me and so showing the channel. It, I, I really don't take any of it for granted. Hey guys, you remember when I said that the purpose for my channel is to show you guys drummers and musicians that you may have never heard of before because of the algorithm, just not giving them the visibility. You guys know Jay Moss. Jay Moss became a huge fan because my channel showed him talent that he hasn't seen before. All right. And it's all, once again, it's because of you guys. You guys have been so supportive. It's been crazy. I couldn't do this without any of you guys. All you guys have been, like, you've taken, you guys have taken this channel to just a whole nother level. When I was back sitting with 200 subscribers, I had no idea that something like this would ever happen, ever happen. So please use this video to be encouraged, to stay encouraged and to keep grinding. All right. So if you guys are still here, the final tip, the bonus tip on how to grow on YouTube live streaming. All right. So real quick, live streaming is, I believe it's available for everyone now. So when you live stream, YouTube puts your live streams in the live stream section on YouTube. So anyone can find your video as long as your content, literally everything that we just went over, especially content, you've done your research on what people are looking for live stream, because you can be on, you can live stream as long as you want. And that will literally boost your watch time crazy. I will be doing more live streams on this channel. Now I upgraded my equipment that allows me to be able to live stream 
without any issues with connection or anything like that. So expect a lot of live streams. Also, what I like about YouTube is the fact that they split your live streams and make it separate from your uploads. So my live streams do not conflict with my content that you see on the regular. So I can live stream drums. I can live stream just a Q&A with you guys. I can live stream where we're just we're just chilling and chatting and I'm gaming while getting to know you guys better. And that's what I plan to do for this channel. I want to give you guys a chance to get to know me so I can get to know you and we can build this connection as a community together. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed these tips. I hope these tips help you guys succeed and grow and grow and grow. I can't wait to see you guys blow up on YouTube. Just keep in mind the tips that I gave you guys and literally sky's the limit. All right. That's, there's, a, there's enough of these for everybody. All right. Everybody. I never thought that I would ever be able to get this e ever. E no, no, mm -mm. Uh, -uh. <laughs> never. Okay. So guys, if I can do it, anybody can keep grinding. is they're making content for a specific group of people or a specific niche or a specific genre of content. Everybody on YouTube, everybody wants to just make whatever they want to make and put it up and hope that people respond to it. But in reality, that used to work, but these days it doesn't work so well. So it's really important to make sure that you are focusing on a specific topic of interest for a specific group of people. The more you focus in on that, the better you're going to do. And this is something that we're all kind of forced into because of how YouTube works, because YouTube is trying to show your content to the people that are most likely to watch that piece of content at that particular time. And because of that, you have to make sure that the people that originally come into the content when you publish, the people that are already subscribed to your channel also have similar interests so that it's putting your content out in front of the people that have a similar interest to the people that are already subscribed to your channel. Having a specific interest set around your content also works to your advantage because if somebody watches one video and then they go to your channel and then they see other videos that you have that are also based on the specific thing that those people are interested in, well, guess what? You're going to get more people watching more of your content. So every one person that comes in that comes in on that interest set they're interested in everything that you have so the likelihood of them watching more of your content gets drastically increased because all the content that you have is stuff that they are interested in and if they're interested in all your content they're going to subscribe they're going to watch and watch and watch and they're going to leave and then they're going to come back and they're going to watch more and then you're going to publish something they're going to watch that and so on and so forth